Hi guys, welcome to today's lesson. Today we'll be looking at constitutional democracy and the rule of law. In today's lesson, we'll be focusing majorly on constitutional democracy. But before we define constitutional democracy and go into it, let's first define democracy. What is democracy? Democracy is a government of, by, and for the people. It is a government of a community in which all citizens, rather than favored individuals or groups, have the right and opportunity to participate in government. In democracy, the people are sovereign. The people are the ultimate source of authority. Now, what is constitutional democracy? Constitutional democracy is a type of democracy where powers of the majority are exercised within a framework of the constitution designed to guarantee the majority rights. In this type of democracy, how the people are to be ruled or governed as stated in the constitution. Constitutional democracy is there for the type which operates from and according to the constitution of the states. For example, in Nigeria, we have something like the 1999 constitution. I know most of you have heard of it. So constitutional democracy is kind of democracy that flows according to the constitution of that state. Now, what are the types of constitutional democracy? But one, we have pluralism. This is a type of constitutional democracy in which majority of the people are allowed to exercise their views, opinions, and ideas. It gives room for wide participation of the citizens. Number two, we have republican democracy. This type of democracy allows for proceedings on issues that concern states alone. It includes all the people of the state, but only on issues that concern that state alone. Examples of countries that practice, practice these are India, France, and Ireland. Number three, we have the constitutional direct. This fashions all its progressions and procedures according to the constitution of the state and allows the direct participation in political affairs. Now let's look at the characteristics and principles of constitutional democracy. Well, the characteristics are popular sovereignty. In this case, the people are the ultimate source of authority of the government, which derives its right to govern from their consent. Number two, majority rights. Although in constitutional democracy the majority rules, the fundamental rights of individuals in the minority are also protected. Number three, limited government. The powers of the government in constitutional democracy is limited by law to the written or unwritten constitution. The powers of the government in constitutional democracy is limited by law to either a written constitution or an unwritten constitution, unlike other forms of democracy. Number four, leadership successions through elections. Good leaders are voted in while bad leaders could be voted out. Number five, due process of the law. Number six, institutional and procedural limitations on power. This includes separated and shared powers between the executive, the legislature, and the judiciary. And it also includes checks and balances. Number seven, basic freedom of interference from the people in the affairs of the government. The merits of constitutional democracy. Here are some of the merits of constitutional democracy. Number one, there is a rule of law. This promotes equality of persons and helps to protect human rights. Number two, it helps to encourage constitutionalism. This means that it helps the government to rule according to the laid down constitution. 
Number three, it involves periodic elections which lead in another government for a change. Number four, there is a choice of political party. For instance, there is an opportunity for citizens to belong to a political party. Number five, there is legitimacy. Constitutional democracy is regarded as legitimate because it has the full support of the people. Now, the the merits of constitutional democracy. Number one, corruption and manipulation of elections. We have cases of contestants manipulating elections to get into government. Number two, ignorance and inadequate political education of some citizens. When citizens are not well educated, they tend to vote ignorantly. Number three, we have slow decision making due to the fact that Everybody will have to express their views and opinion on any decision the government will want to make. Number four, individuals claim rights and obligations, which most times make them disrespect those in power. Number five, it is expensive to run since it involves so many people in carrying out its affairs. Number six, manipulation by few. Constitutional democracy is always manipulated by few citizens who have vocal skills and ability to express views and opinion. Now let's see the key concepts of constitutional democracy. Number one is the history of the people. In any good constitutional democracy, the constitution must reflect the history of the people. Number two freedom of the press the press such as television radio newspaper and other social media are means by which citizens express their views people are free to write and make reports on government issues through the press number three we have periodic elections free and fair election is one of the major key concepts of constitutional democracy because it allows for change in government number four conventions constitutional democracy brings about conventions through which the government follows number five the right of the citizens number six supremacy of the constitution in summary constitutional democracy is the type of democracy where powers of the majority are exercised within a framework of the constitution designed to guarantee the majority rights. The key concepts of constitutional democracy are the history of the people, the freedom of the press, periodic elections, conventions, the right of citizens and supremacy of the constitution. Hope you guys learned from today's lesson. Now let's take down this assignment. Number one, define democracy. Number two, list five merits and the merits of constitutional democracy. Thanks guys for listening. See you in the next class.